Hi Libra, welcome to your weekend love readings. These will be from the 1st of May until the 3rd of May. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Also, these are general love readings, so they're not going to resonate with every single person every single week. If it's not resonating with you this week, that's okay. Hit that notification button if you haven't already. And then go and check out one of the other tarot readers here on YouTube. Um, also, these are, uh, these are a shorter read type if you're new to the channel. Just know that the weekend reads are a little bit shorter. I do a longer, more detailed read for the weekly reads. So if you're interested in that, make sure that you have subscribed and hit that notification button. They come out on the evening of Sunday and Monday night. Evening of Sunday, Monday night. I feel like that was a double extra bit of information um but it's australian eastern standard time and there's so many different people from all over the world it's just easier to hit the notification button and it notifies you when i've done it all right love messages let's get this sorted it's really windy here and i can hear a lot of trees creaking outside and it's making me a little bit nervous that one of them's going to fall on my house so if that happens <gasps> hierophant if that happens, you guys got it first. We're not live, so I probably won't post it if it happens. All right. I love messages, please. That's a nice way to start, though. Libra. Oh, okay. But is it a burdensome relationship? That is the question here. I'm using the Tarot Illuminati this week, too, P.S. You might be dealing with a Taurus, Libra. Okay. All right. So you're in a relationship which either you or the other person is emotionally unstable, unavailable. Um, they're closing you out. Why are they shutting you out? We will get to that. Hierophant, please. Yeah, okay. So the actual relationship may be changing, maybe ending with the death card, but generally this death card almost never shows up in this deck. In fact, I cannot even remember ever seeing it in this deck. Um, but yeah, it's there and it's all about end change. There's a lot more death on this one, I feel like, so probably ending more than change. Um you may be facing a lot of changes in your relationship setup, like how it's been, and this is weighing heavy. But it's also cause this is your other person. Is it you or the other person? I need more. Okay. What's the King of Cups in reverse, please? I feel like it's the other person. It's the other person. The other person is locking you out for some reason. I'm just not emotionally okay because they're trapped in their thoughts okay so they're not emotionally locking out because they don't care about you anymore they're just overwhelmed with what's going on in their head um there's a lot of change happening it's frightening for them they're going through a lot of changes eight of swords Okay, Ten of Pentacles. All right, so they may actually be thinking about, you guys might be talking about divorce. Um, sorry, that's Indy having a dream. Um, yeah, you may be actually, or, or someone has, I don't actually think it's your divorce. I feel like they're thinking about someone else's divorce. How is that happening? Yeah, I feel like they're worried about someone else's marriage ending. That's the that's this. Okay, so we could if your marriage is not ending or you haven't discussed an ending, um, then they might be worried about it because they're seeing other people get divorced. This is really like they're stressed out about it, but they're not stressed out about it because they want it. They're just stressed out about it. You may have actually suggested it. Um, I don't feel like they want it. Most likely outcome here, please. Okay, 
Okay. It's moving forward. It's happening and it's going to happen quick. Ah, okay. Communication is coming in super, super, super quickly. Okay, so this Eight of Wands is communication coming in quickly anyway. When it's the Chariot as well, it's like uber quick, super quick. So before you know it, you're going to be having a conversation about what is going on in this person's head. Queen of Cups. Interesting. Both of you in reverse. King and Queen though, good sign, good match. In reverse, um, kind of both consumed with your own perception and feelings about a situation. Um so you both need to flip and talk to each other. That is why this communication is so important. Now, with this communication, may bring a lot of very deep emotion. You may be very upset by the conversation, um, not because of the content of it necessarily, but more because of the, the type of conversation. I think you're going to find it very confronting when they're telling you what's going on in their head. Um I feel like they're worried about someone else's divorce. Why do I, please tell me what that's about if if you know what I'm talking about because again it's like coming in halfway through a book. All right, I'm not going to take any more on that. Let's do some advice. Advice please. Okay. Okay. So this is part of the whole <laughs> relationships are hard, right? And people think from the outside relationships and marriage, it's so easy. You just find someone and then you just keep them for the rest of your life like a pet. Um, not true. This is, this is part of your learning on your journey together, okay? So these are lessons that need to be learned, growth that's happening as part of your journey together. So I think that's what I mean. I feel like this is not an ending for you. Um, I 100% do not, although this is, there's a death card here and there's a 10 of pentacles. I, I can't, I can't explain it, but there is no divorce here for you. Um, for some of you, absolutely. You may be going through that. I'm not going to say not all of you, but for most of you, that's not what's happening here. This is about that's why I keep picking up at someone else's marital problems or someone else's relationship problems that have got your partner worried. Um, and again, this is a, this is a lesson for your and that will strengthen your com your connection. If it was not, this guy would come out in reverse because then it'd be like that'd be divorce, separation, whatever. It's not coming out like that though. All right, I'll take one more, please, for advice. Oh, look at this. <laughs> yes. This is divine. This is all meant to be happening exactly as it's happening. Again, this is a lesson to help you on your way, on your journey with each other. Part of that lesson is going to be flipping both of you into the upright because you've become a little bit consumed with your own emotions and feelings and perspectives on the situation, like I said before. Hence why you're both in reverse. What's really good is you are a king and queen of the same suit. That is a connection, okay? Um, the Wheel of Fortune tells me that you are actually being guided and helped and you know, corralled in exactly the right directions by the universe because this is one of your lessons. This is one of your karmic lessons. So don't fight it. Go with it. Open up the communication. If you need to be emotional, be emotional. Do what you've got to do, but accept it as a lesson. Um, it's not something that – and focus on getting these two in the upright, yeah, because once this flips, then this flips and we let go of this. And this turns into a little bit of regret for not being for being a bit dumb. Um, and then we get Ten of Pentacles back in the upright. Everyone's happy. Yay. That's why it's so important to flip these two because it creates this chain effect on the clarifiers and then creates a different outcome. This is not all set in stone. These are, these are signposts. I've said it dozens of times before. You have the power to change any one of these cards. 
um, a lesson from the past because you can't change the past. But anything that is yet to happen or is currently underway or is in the future, you have the power to change. Um, I've certainly not liked outcomes before and gone, well, I'm going to go do the very opposite of that right now and change the outcome. So uh, they're just guidelines. Just color in the lines if you want. If you want to go outside the lines, change the picture. Easy. All right. That's all I got for you, Libra. Sounds like you've got a very interesting weekend ahead. Lots of communication. Oh, let's give you a romance angel. Sorry, I forgot. Romance angel for Libra. Communication is going to be the key bit here. Um, there's going to be only so much communication you can actually drive. You deserve love. You are lovable. Your person does love you very, very much. Um, you know, four of wands here. They're just, they're just scared. Um, yeah, they're scared of. They're seeing other. They're seeing things happen in other people's relationships that are scaring them. That is what I need to say. Oh, took me a while. All right, I'll see you guys back here for the weekly reads. Talk to you soon. Bye.